Yeah, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Into the Breach videos, actually the second one, so it's not like I have been doing a great deal of them. I played the tutorial, I have been fiddling a little bit around with the game with my son, just trying to learn a little bit more about what it was, and it is time for me to go in now and play a mission. When we're playing this non-tutorial style, we can choose where we want to deploy these mechs before we actually start battling, which means that we can try with like no skills to uh, see if uh, if we can be really smart about where we place them and right now i'm not absolutely not but i hope that in the course of some amount of games i'm going to uh, sound really intelligent when i talk about the game but right now i am like uh, fiddling around with it trying my best to learn the game while playing it and since it is already something i'm pretty hyped about i uh, i wanted to share a little bit of it with you guys because I absolutely love Fortnite, but I also wanted to uh, to share a few of the other games that I'm playing. And since I kind of started up with this right now, and no, I don't want to push that there, then it's going to shoot the mountain. I thought it could be really cool to include you guys in on me starting up on a game instead of just me being uh, very experienced with the game. So let's see here. The goal is, of course, to take out these Vex here, the monsters that are invading Earth, and we have traveled back in time to take them out. So, all right, we now have a Vex on top of a spawning area, meaning that it is going to take damage as it prevents one of its own from coming into the mag this time around. Locked enemy, good times. So that was round number one. And the flying one has gone over there. Ha, you're no threat to me, guys. I got this, no worries, so I'm just gonna figure out how. <laughs> so what do we have to work with? The artillery is my absolute most like strategic thing right now. I can use it to push one back into another, but it won't be enough to damage and take them out. So let's undo that move. I don't really have like a full understanding of how everything works yet, but I'm gonna be getting that as we move forward. But right now that is a safe one and we can take out that one good times and we really just have one threat thing left and we can't reach it so that was yeah okay not what i wanted either okay okay well we can stand here then and just look good because i mean we do look good should i undo these because nah let's just you know what we're gonna take the damage oh resisted the strats are real Absolutely amazing. That had nothing to do with skills, but I mean, risk taking is a, is a strategy as well. All right. Well, lesson learned. All right. So we have four husks here and two incoming, and I just need to defend the second satellite for two turns. Then we have a victory, and we can actually shoot in the middle of these to push them away that should actually be enough but the question is do i want to put one up here and block instead and then shoot one into the other i think that could be a fun way to do it I don't know how much chain reaction we can use we can do by shooting if we can shoot one into another into a third no just one into another all right well it was worth trying and then we just have dr poop hands here and he isn't gonna die ralph by taking damage from the scorpion kind of thing, but we can push that one into fire and it dies anyway, so that is that is okay. He's gonna take a little damage, but I mean it's a mech, he can handle himself. So that one took damage as well. <laughs> okay, blocked enemy. Great, so we just need to survive this one turn, then we are done with the very first, having our first win map in the game. Or zone or whatever we should be calling so many things i still need to <laughs> learn but let's move away from the fire nobody likes to be burned uh yeah let's just start by taking the artillery i could mm, i don't want to be standing in the water let's see if i just where do i want if i go up behind so i can shoot that there then it's going to move up and shoot the other that would be pretty awesome so that is an option. I can also go here and push this one into fire, but it's going to die anyway, so that was overkill. I need to remove myself from the fire, absolutely, because nobody likes burning, but where do I want to move and what do I want to do? Uh, I also have a repair option, actually, so let us just think a little about that. Okay, if I stand here, I can push both of these. 
and then they are not going to be harming anything. And I really just win after this turn, so there is nothing, I, like I don't need to take them out. There is no bonus objective to do so, but I do get experience points, so we should be winning the game once this stuff here is done. Or not winning the game, winning the first zone. Oh, you're doing nothing. Oh, the strats are real, the rocket took them out. I am so amazing. <laughs> Alright, mission complete, I love it. That guys was what I had to share in this small video, a small look into my noobishness into the breach. I hope you guys enjoy If you have goodies, put them down there so that I can learn even more. As always guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.